is Ripple XRP will new world currency. How is it possible? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. The world is ready for a better way to do business in the 21st century. Using USD for international trade is like reading a newspaper to find out what's going on in the world. The US dollar has been the most important currency for longer than most of us have been alive. Most people think that the world goes around the sun and that the sun goes around the US dollar. Every country has been pushed for decades to become a loyal subject of this Western-based empire. And since World War II, the United States has been living on an infinite credit card. This comfortable world of fiat currency dominance, which is kept in place with the threat of violence, has worked out very well for the US government, its people, and its businesses. So, I'm here to tell you that a new reality show about the economy is about to start. One is based on advances in technology like Bitcoin, blockchain technology, and new instruments like Ripple. These protocols will help make changes to the world's money systems that can't be undone. Updates to these systems have been needed for a long time, and there will never be another American empire. When the US dollar loses its position as the most important currency in the world in the coming years, people with vested interests may try to blame the new digital currency technologies row by ripple for the resetting of the economy. This would be as stupid as blaming CGI for how bad most movies have been in the last 20 years. The financial house of cards fell down long before the ripple in blockchain technologies. The rest of the world loves, hates, and fears the United States. When one country makes the best entertainment in the world, imports and grows the best technology in the world, makes the most important military force in the world, and controls the world's reserve currency, you have a true global powerhouse. Because of this, there are now American soldiers in almost every country on the planet. There are large amounts of US dollars in every central bank on the planet, as well as international hostility toward this level of access and control over the world that seems to have no limits. The other 190 or so countries would love to destroy the American empire, and they are either working hard or waiting to join forces with someone who can do it. All empires must fall, just as Rome did. Whoever doesn't learn from the past is doomed to repeat it, and the American empire is no different. The currency of the United States, the dollar, is also on a terrible path to self-destruction. A simple economics lesson on how the status of the global reserve currency works when a single currency is chosen for international trade reconciliation for all items, whether they are steel, food, military equipment, or oil, making the petrodollar. This is called the US dollar's global reserve currency status, and it is something it has right now. Most of the time, these skills last for a few generations before they have to be rebuilt. The US dollar has been the most important currency in the world for more than 70 years, but like a 70-year-old person, it is running out of time. This is clear whether you look at the Federal Reserve, quantitative easing, or the recent massive purchase of gold by banks and other organizations. Or the Federal Reserve would have to buy their own treasury bonds to keep them from falling because no other country wants them anymore. Every other country, whether they say it out loud or not, is plotting, planning, and hoping for the dollar to fail. The fact that the US dollar is the world's reserve currency means that countries must continue to use the dollar for international trade instead of their own currencies. This also lets the US print trillions of dollars every year to pay for wars, debt, and other things that are bad for the economy. In essence, it is a license to print money and abuse the global system while sending inflation to the rest of the world, which is measured by the amount of money in circulation. In exchange for this exported cash, the United States gets the best goods and resources in the world. As long as this system is in place, the US government can keep adding to its debt without facing serious consequences, and they have been doing this for decades. Imagine that you have no money at all. If you had more than $19 trillion in debt, you would also be considered broke. Still, whenever you want to borrow money, there are a lot of happy people ready to fill your wallet with cash. 
Also, the US has taken on more debt and made more money, and it has made the world's banking system do whatever it wants. One great example is making the FKA Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. The goal of the FKA rules is to tax Americans who work abroad. The US is the only country in the world that does this, while the rest of the world has to do the actual legal work. All the paperwork and checks are done by foreign banks. Any US resident or business, past or present, has to deal with a lot of paperwork, background checks, and scrutiny. Even the banks find that hard to deal with, let alone the entity. Banks in other countries have turned away Americans because of the work and control they need. The US needs to know everything an American does. Authorities or the bank will be kicked out of the international financial system. The countries of the world have had enough, and in the 21st century, they want to find a better way. When it comes to international taxation, foreign banks and governments don't want to be the U.S.'s lapdogs. They don't like having to tell the U.S. everything just because the U.S. wants them to. They don't want military bases in their country, and they don't want to back the U.S. dollar, which is being printed to death. This doesn't cause inflation in the U.S. as much as it does in the rest of the world, which is America's biggest export. That and fighting. International trade is expected to be done in U.S. dollars, which artificially increases the USD's use and demand around the world while keeping inflation in the U.S. in check. For these kinds of trades, more than half of the dollars in circulation are used outside of the country. What if you didn't need USD to send money around and you could build a global digital system that did the same thing much faster and cheaper without the American middleman taking a cut? Now comes the part where digital channels like Ripple and blockchain come into play. The world is ready for a better way to do business in the 21st century. Using the USD for international trade is like reading a newspaper to find out what's going on in the world. Today, you're reading a report from yesterday, and international trade uses technology from yesterday to do what it needs to do. Blockchain technology helps banks and countries do things more quickly, cheaply, and well and the blockchain will have nothing to do with these new systems. Ripple just said that its new headquarters will be in Toronto, Canada. What's more, what do you know? They also plan to hire another hundred people. If the price of XRP goes over the psychological 40 cent level in the next few weeks, there may be a rush to buy, which could send the price back up to 51 cents. The price is expected to go up by 50 cents, but if investors keep spreading rumors about CBDC, it wouldn't be surprising if it went up to $1. When a company says it will grow, especially into new markets, investors are always happy to hear about it. It gives people confidence that the business is making money and wants to grow faster. Well, XRP's price graph shows that it is going up. Since then, there have been a lot of ideas about how XRP could change direction and become a CBDC central bank digital currency solution. Well, why not? Many times, the company itself has hinted that XRP might become one. In one of their tweets, they said that Ripple's CBDC solutions use a private version of the public open-source XRP ledger. This gives them more control over the issuance, management, privacy, and validation than a public blockchain. The price of Ripple right now is 33. Over the course of an hour, the digital remittance token has gone up. If the technicals hold, buying pressure will likely cause bulls to form a bullish morning star pattern. This will be a good sign for long-term investors to get in. If the price of XRP goes over the psychological 40 cent level in the next few weeks, there may be a rush to buy which could send the price back up to 51 cents. As the idea that Ripple XRP is a way to integrate CBDC grows, the company is used on a huge scale. The social media buzz suggests that the rumors that XRP will become a one-world currency and replace the US dollar may have some truth to them. We've seen with Dogecoin and Bitcoin that all it takes is for people to talk about a cryptocurrency on social media for its price to go up. FOMO is the idea that people will buy something just because they don't want to be left out. They don't want to miss out. This speculation about CBD is enough to give Ripple and XRP FOMO. In the next few days, the price is expected to go up by 50 cents. But one thing is certain. If investors keep talking about CBDC rumors, it wouldn't be surprising if the price reached $1. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. 
Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.